Hey, how's it going guys? TND coming back at you. So we are now six weeks away from the Lightfall expansion, which means most of you guys have probably hit both the Pinnacle Cap and completed the Season Pass for Season of the Seraph. If not, I'm sure you're fairly close, meaning you probably have no other use for your bounties at the current time, which means it is officially time to start talking about bounty prepping for next season. Now the rationale for bounty prep in expansion seasons is pretty simple. While most seasons nowadays see only a plus 10 power increase, expansion seasons are a totally different beast. The Witch Queen launch brought all weapons and armor up to level 1350, with the pinnacle cap for Season of the Risen being 1560, over 300 light level higher. The fastest way to bridge that gap was to play through the Legendary campaign, which rewarded a full set of 1520 armor pieces. So if Bungie bumps us up at the same rate this time around, then the Lightfall baseline should be around 1610, with Season 20's pinnacle level at a staggering 1920. So needless to say, being as prepared as possible for this upcoming grind is definitely in each player's best interest, especially with our current season starting to wind down. Okay, so let's talk bounties for a second. These guys come in three main categories. Weeklies, dailies, and repeatables, which award 12,000, 6,000, and 4,000 XP respectively. Obviously, for the sake of efficiency, you want as many weeklies as possible followed by daily bounties. Do not use repeatables. There are four main locations with vendors that offer two weekly bounties each week. Eris Morn, as well as the Lectern on the Moon, Petrovenge on the Dreaming City, Varix on Europa, as well as Astacross on the Cosmodrome. Yeah! Also, each character can pick up and store one weekly Star Horse bounty as well. So don't forget to take a little detour over to Eternity to hang out with our friend Juan for a second. Daily bounties can also be picked up from these guys as well as from basically every planetary and playlist vendor in the entire game. Remember to not store bounties from any of the last four seasons as that content will be getting sunset when Lightfall releases. The reason you need to start your prep now is because there are six Ascended Challenge weekly bounties on the Dreaming City. So this is about as close as you can cut it in order to ensure maximum XP gains for the new season. I'll go ahead and try to find a video for all six Ascended Challenges and put it in the description below. Because if you're someone like me who wasn't around during Forsaken, finding where exactly you're supposed to even start for those things can be a bit difficult out there. Now I understand all this bounty prep stuff, it may seem a bit overwhelming. Now how are players even expected to remember which bounties they've done on each planet each week? I mean, what would really be cool is if there was like a one-stop shop for all this bounty prepping stuff as well as resources and your vault. So welcome to Destiny Recipes! This is an incredible tool for bounty prep as well as everything you could ask for in regards to seasonal prep. Oh, you don't have enough vault space cleared? It's got an optimizer. Not enough resources? Well, attracts that too. But the best thing this tool has to offer is this drop down right here that shows every available bounty as well as which ones you've completed on each character. Not only that, but this progress bar at the top also shows not only your total stored XP, but also how far into the season 20 season pass you'd be if you turned in all of your bounties right now. Remember to not ever turn in those bounties until you've completed the following. Done the opening mission of the expansion, acquired the seasonal artifact, as well as returned to the tower in a fire team in order to take advantage of the shared wisdom XP buff, which is a fire team XP boost that gets unlocked very early in the season pass. Oh, and don't forget that ghost mod for an extra 12% XP gain as well. I highly recommend bookmarking Destiny Recipes so you can keep coming back to this page all throughout the next six weeks to make your life as easy as possible to prep for your characters. But like I said, the legendary campaign gets you to the soft cap already. So what's the point of you in stacking bounties in the first place? Even if you're planning on doing the day one raid race, contest mode puts all players at the powerful cap, a fairly easy grind for most players to hit in a week and a half. Well, for me, the biggest reason for stacking as much XP as humanly possible is this guy right here, the seasonal artifact. This little item right here in and of itself has the capability of controlling the entire meta for the next three months of each given season. This current season of the game has given us both solo operative as well as weakened clear, two incredibly strong mods that have helped players this season clear some of the most difficult content in the entire game. But you'll notice that both of these mods are on the fifth column of the artifact, meaning that if you don't hit the requisite XP, it's very possible you don't have access to season 20's version of weakened clear by the time the new raid drops. So obviously you do not need to bounty prep for new expansions. If anything, this prep work as well as the Destiny Recipes tool exists simply as a checklist to put you in the best position as possible to hit the ground running when Lightfall is released. You don't want to be worrying about having enough vault space or having enough XP for cool artifact mods when you'd much rather be swinging away like Spider-Man on the streets of Neo Muna. Hope you guys enjoyed this bounty prep guide and make sure you subscribe to my channel to catch all of my latest Destiny 2 content and I will catch you guys in the next one. Happy hunting, Guardians.